it's happening. It's happening finally. I'm a bit late. Sorry. Oh my god, no, you're perfect. Thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. Everyone is so excited to get to see you today. Yay! So thank you. Of course. Thank you for having me on this little live. Oh my gosh, these are my favorite. I like these more because you know, I get to see you, the fans get to see you, and it's just more one on one and personal. I like it a lot. I never done something like this before the quarantine happened. So I think it's so great. Just yeah. how you how you solve it. Now, Zara, are you quarantining still in Sweden? Well, 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 funny enough, in Sweden, we never had quarantine. Like we never had that. We never had um, lockdowns. We have like no masks. Like not it's very, very much like normal. Everything that's going on, we're what I've been like, this is different, is that the clubs aren't opened. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. So it's kind of crazy to see, you know, the rest of the world and all the headlines and all that. But hopefully it actually looks like it's it's been going down and now it's just at a very, you know, mm -hmm. low rate, like no not a lot of people are getting sick and stuff. Uh, but I am going to London tomorrow. And that means I have to quarantine in London for two weeks. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. So I'm going to bring some quarantine friends, actually. And we're just going <laughs> to, like, cook, watch TV shows. Maybe I'll actually do some studying. My mom was like, please study. Please study. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to take it easy. Take a chill. But I quarantine every day. Like, that's how I feel what that I'm doing because I'm just in my sofa watching movies, like, getting takeaway. Um, how are you doing? How are you holding up? Yeah. Uh, well, we're okay. We're in Ohio. Mm -hmm. So things didn't get as bad here as they did, per se, as, like, New York right, or right, right. Los Angeles. Um, so there's a lot of people just cramped together. Right. So, yeah. you know, we have wonderful outdoor activities and a lot of green True. space so yeah. i think a lot of people are doing a lot more outdoorsy things but you know it's been a great l way to just reconnect with family and like you i said, agree cook relax recharge yeah and get ready for 2021 honey because it's gonna come strong yes come <laughs> on <laughs> i know um i know I want to do this. I, uh, speaking of being, you know, at home and watching movies, work it on Netflix. We were just chatting about this. We got it. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, you need to go watch it on Netflix. And your song, Wow, is featured yeah. in like the kissing scene. I know. Very cute. My favorite <laughs> scene, obviously. Um, you know, I was so surprised. Funny? Huh. What? What? Tell me. Tell me what's uh, funny. Sabrina, we've we've had Sabrina and uh -huh. Jordan Fisher at private concerts here through the station. Really? Yeah. It was They're so like, sweet. They're just the I, sweetest people, like yeah. both of them. Um, I think just great, great people, aren't they? They are very sweet. Lots of fans. Jordan yeah. is the cutest. Uh, he is. And so, so is Sabrina. I just you? yeah. How honestly no idea it was a complete shock when i saw that movie i was like wait a minute i didn't know it was gonna happen like <laughs> to me maybe stuff happened like behind the scenes like with my record label and stuff that i was not aware of because when that came out and everybody was like oh my gosh it's your song in this movie i was like what is everybody talking about and then i watched it and i was like hello mm -hmm. so it was it was definitely a very nice surprise and then it was I... like this hello <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you, you know what i loved about it is that it was actually released like over a year ago and uh, for a commercial for a sync another sync and we never planned it to be like a singer or anything. But when we, uh, when people heard that commercial, they started Shazam in that song like crazy. Yeah. So we just thought, let's just release it. Like, why not give the people what they want? Right. Um, not to push it or anything, but just to have it out there. And then we did. And now it's synced again. And same reaction. Like, people just Shazammed it. It was like top five in the world, top five in America. Like, people really wanted to know what it was. Mm -hmm. So 
that's a dream like as an artist to just get that like real authentic yes engagement you know what i mean and then with the help of like playlisting a radio and all of that hopefully we can get it up to just see its full potential but it's so nice to just watch people react to it in in an organic way like yeah. i love that so now maybe we can just take it up and 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 give give it the life it deserves hopefully yeah. i got to yeah. say though speaking of your your music uh I'm still a fan of Love Me Land. Thank I you. Just, I love that song so much. <laughs> Me too. Me so too. So we have supported Wow, Love Me Land, Ruin My Life, Never yes, Forget You. Yes. Lush Life All the Time and Ain't My Fault. All oh of my them. gosh. All of them. Wow. Yeah. I just humbly fans. bow down. <laughs> no, for real. That we means a lot. Out to you. I love that. Thank you. It's really like all of my songs that I push for radio um and now wow I I I'm so thankful thank you so much of course that means a lot um uh, I know we've got a lot of your fans in here but maybe we have some people who are just kind of getting to know even more about you you got your start at kind of like it's Sweden's version of America's Got Talent mm -hmm. and you know, we see these shows like American Idol and America's Got Talent and you you know, you kind of think like, okay, this is a great launching pad, but will it happen? And you know, it's it's happened to a handful where they really became, you know, uh singers with a career. Right, right, right. And right. I, I just feel like, you know, if you're the real deal, you're going to shine through and that's how you got your start at the young age of 10 my god <laughs> but you know what's funny though because i don't think i got like obviously it gave me um recognition like when i was 10 mm -hmm. but it took me like a good 5 years to actually release my own music and by you know this like a huge gap from when you're 10 to 15 sure. stuff happens like physically you know you're like a teenager right. you're not a child anymore but people were still like wait a minute is that the girl from the talent show so it was kind of nice to me that i didn't have that uh like stand like the girl from the talent show but also had that kind of recognizable what's the word like yeah, people recognize you know, yeah they, yeah they knew you from somewhere but it wasn't like exactly because you're right it's so hard to go from like, one of those shows and then actually become like right uh a, a, not an independent artist but just like an artist who releases right. music and not just does like a tv show um but i thought that gave me and you never know life is a chain of events i always say that because if I didn't do that show, it might not have led me up to meeting the people I met and for me to be able to release my music and all that. But um, I'm kind of glad it took me those five years because even though 15 is very young still, uh -huh. I got those like five years to just, I've had a very normal childhood. Like people sometimes ask me, did you miss out on anything? Like all of that. And I just think I got I like, gained so many experiences but i also got the opportunity to just be completely normal like of course yeah. people recognized me in school for like a few months that was exciting <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. but then also that dies down and i just got to be like a very normal kid until i was 15 and i started releasing my own songs um so it was such a fun experience to do and uh, yeah i just think the stars aligned really well yeah um and now i'm here still doing what i love Yes. And uh, I was just watching your, your TikTok where um, <laughs> I think everyone's trying to do the WAP right now. And oh, my gosh. Girl, if I get down that low on the floor, I don't think I'm getting back <laughs> up. But, I mean, obsessed, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Megan and Cardi. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was so cool because it's raunchy. You yes. know it's raunchy. It is. And like Cardi B said it, she was like, when people say they don't want to hear that stuff, they're lying. Because right. obviously it's number one and people want to hear that. And it's, yes. it's a little refreshing, even though, you know, you can see it from so many angles. But I personally think as a woman, also as a hip hop fan, like someone who really like loves hip hop, I just think... It's refreshing to see. I mean, it's been done before by like sure. Lil Kim, Nicki Minaj, like speaking about their 
sexuality and just being free and, 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 and cool with like how they want to express themselves. But it is very refreshing to see someone doing it on their own terms and not like a man speaking about a right. woman in, in like a degrading way. Now it's right. just like, you know what? This is me. This is what I'm about. This is what I'm thinking. And we, you, we all think, we all think what they're saying sometimes. Like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know I mean? And it's just so fun to see them being themselves and being them strong selves and just doing what they do. I don't know. I loved it. I love it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's just like every time you hear from the top, <laughs> you just kick <laughs> yeah. in the, mm. so yes, Crazy. finally, you know, we've got a, a, a female anthem right now that's yes. empowering. Men yeah. have been doing it, and it's okay that women do yes. it too. Period. Uh, oh, period. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have something in common. Really? One of my favorite artists as well is Miss Queen Beyonce. Oh, come on, girl. Have you gotten to meet her? Yes. Ah! I know. Ah! <laughs> Tell me everything. It's it's. It was the 29th of May, 2013, uh, if I remember it correctly. <laughs> and You're like, the literally? Time, it was the night of, no, but seriously, <laughs> it was after her concert when she did, like, the Miss Carter World Tour in Sweden. She was in Sweden, and I obviously knew she was going to come. Like, I already had my tickets and everything. But look, now I have uh, a comment saying, haha, that story, oh my gosh, because my fans have heard this a million times. <laughs> um, but it was incredible i watched her perform i emailed sony because she was signed to sony maybe still is under like parkwood mm -hmm. uh entertainment or something and i was just like hi my name is ara like i'm a sign artist to sony i would really like to meet beyonce and i just i was just on it like i was just asking every ceo like everyone i met i was like so beyonce's gonna come to my town in four months like how can we sort this out right and um and they really sorted me out. They were so helpful. And after her concert, they were like, we're just going to take you backstage now. And uh, we're going to let you meet her. And I was, first of all, I was bawling my eyes out the whole concert. I was in the very, very front row. And my phone died. So I didn't have, which was actually like a good thing because I was so present. Right. Because you know these days when you go and watch a concert, you're just like phones in the sky. Yep. Not really watching. Uh, that's when you know a song is popular when you're on stage. That's when you see all the phones go yes, up. You're like, yes. they like this song. <laughs> but I was very present. So every time she like looked at me or looked my way, I was just like, ah! <laughs> So I got backstage. I met her. I was still crying so much because I was shocked. I was just shook. Yes. Uh, and then <sighs> she said, oh, my gosh, you're the girl in the front crying the whole time. And I was like, yes, that's me. <sighs> And she was the sweetest girl. She was just, she was just everything I wanted. She was everything I wanted her to be. Like she, sometimes they say, don't meet your idols. But right. I am so happy that I, I met her. And she was this humble, lovely smelling, uh, oh, skin looking flawless, perfect. perfect, hair perfect, like very sweet she took her time she looked at me she asked me like she really took her time and i am so happy that that was just it's inspiring yeah. when someone so big can just you know they're just humans right like us right. believe it or not beyonce's a real person <laughs> yeah. but it's the same thing when i was on the tour with ed sheeran last summer mm -hmm. um and he was just you know he's one of the biggest artists and he it didn't matter, like, who, when we, when he walked the hallways, he would say hi to everyone, like, hey, you know, wave, or, because some people have, like, don't look into their eyes, right? You know? like, if you see them in the hallway, you can't look at them, and this was just, just a regular person, right? And I think that's inspiring, because that's how it should be, like, yes. it should just be good vibes, people should just be nice to each other, and then you have the best time. Oh, my God. Well, we can't wait to meet you backstage. I'm seeing all the oh. comments. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully next year when things get back to normal with uh, concerts yeah. and, and shows. Um, I do have a couple questions from the fans. Uh, somebody asked, who is your closest celebrity friend? Ooh. That's a hard one. Or do you have a couple? Uh, we're jealous if you have a couple i was like okay <laughs> one but she's like i've got 10 
Who's my closest? I have a lot of like. Hmm. Well, the thing is, I only have like three friends. So, and then, <laughs> like yeah. we all do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have like yes. three people I regularly like would Facetime and say I hi and just mean. hang out on Facetime. But my like acquaintance, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll say your name and they'd be like, "You're not my friend." <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. We're gonna see if it if it reaches to TMZ tomorrow. I don't know. I have I have a lot of really really talented friends. I really do. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna pass on it. Is that okay? okay? That's okay. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> okay. So we already know you love Beyonce, but yes. what are you listening to now? Like when you're at home or when you're in the car? What are What are you playing? I love. Ooh, I love, I really want to take up my Spotify, but I can't because then it would interrupt this interview. My memory is so bad. You know what? You know what I love to listen to right now? I have this playlist and it's only like 80s hits. Ah. It's only like Fleetwood Mac, like Phil Collins, like ABBA, wow. um, Journey like to all of that just to sing along hits mm -hmm. just like a really good road trip playlist. right i hear you yeah that's um, my jam right now <laughs> i want to know because i've seen you i saw you on good morning america your performance uh and just the video for love me land and mm -hmm. your, your photos are you part of the process for styling because you just look <laughs> like gorgeous you look fire who was your team who was doing all of this thanks thank yes. you well shout out to my stylist doggy who i love we have the best time um he's so funny and we just really vibe together like because i know my style and like my style is like borderline tacky i only want everything <laughs> to sparkle i want everything to be like pink and fluffy yes. and i want to be like I just wanted to be super extra. And he's like, let's take it down a few notches. And like somewhere there in the middle, we just meet really well. <laughs> no, I love it. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, yes, queen, glitter, sparkle. I want to see <laughs> yeah. you from space. Exactly. Yeah. Come on. Well, it's it's gorgeous. So, um, Thank you. you know, and I know like as a female, like, you know, just always Bring having it to on. think of the next thing and, you know, be on trend, be above trend, yeah. set the trend. Yeah. So you yeah, killed it, lot. girl. You killed but also it. on my off days, like it's very either or. So now I'm chatting to you. I have this little like press day going on. But if I'm not doing anything, uh, you will not see me. Like I have no makeup, a tracksuit, which is not matching, some <laughs> sliders, some white socks. Like, you know what I'm saying? I yeah then i'm just yeah. straight up chilling you're just like us like we said <laughs> Dara is just like us we feel so connected <laughs> um so we can follow you on tiktok obviously yes um follow you on instagram you can shout out your your socials for everyone in case they're like just zara larson everywhere i think zara larson everywhere zara larson official you will see this little blue tick so yeah yeah and um since you're swedish can yes. you say something to us like maybe <laughs> um uh i love q92 that's not a lot of words but i think it'll still sound cool in swedish okay y'all elska q92 oh yes okay <laughs> oh my gosh i love it i love it Thank you so Sick. much. Thank uh, you. I had a great time talking to you. You too. You're gorgeous. You're talented. And I can't wait to see you in real life next oh, year. I know. Let's do it. Let's I'm excited. do it. Take care of yourself and Thank stay you. safe and all that. Thank you. You as well. I'll see you doing the WAP on TikTok, girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.